Hey everyone, this is Scott from Forgot to Grow Up. Welcome to our X-Men Dark Phoenix movie review. I just got back from seeing the latest X-Men movie, and I'm going to be sharing my spoiler-free thoughts on it. So yeah, I just got back from seeing it, and I thought it was okay. I don't think it's as bad as the critics are making it out to be. I could be a little bit biased, because I love all superhero movies. But, nonetheless, I thought that this one was one of the better of the X-Men movies. I thought that they did a great job kind of incorporating the Dark Phoenix story. I don't think this is exactly comic book accurate, but I liked this adaptation, this um, try at the Dark Phoenix. I thought they did a little bit better job than the last time they tried to do it in this franchise with X-Men The Last Stand. Uh, so yeah, I like I said, I thought it was okay. It's not my favorite movie of the year, um, but I still enjoyed it. I enjoyed this one a lot more than Apocalypse. Apocalypse was garbage. I still enjoyed it, but it was garbage. Um, but this one I thought was pretty good. I liked the, I thought the story was pretty well done. I thought like it wasn't, you know, wasn't anything su super surprising, but it was also a well done enough and they incorporated it into like with this, uh, with all the different characters so well. I thought it was, I thought it was well done. We got to spend a little time with each of the characters. Quicksilver, except for Quicksilver, he was, very brief appearances in their hands, like one scene, one or two scenes. But nonetheless, I thought they were all pretty great. I didn't hate any of the characters in this one, which is always a positive thing. I thought they all did a great job of portraying the characters they're supposed to play. I don't know these characters that well. I haven't read any X-Men comics. I have not watched the animated series since I was a kid, but I have watched all these X-Men movies. And yes, we haven't spent a lot of time with these new characters. This uh, we've only pretty much spent one movie with some of them. <laughs> meaning, you know, Apocalypse last movie, but I thought they did a great job of kind of getting up to speed, the fact that it has been a 10, it's been 10 years for them in this world, so I thought they did a great job, or maybe not a great job, they did a good job of um, kind of getting up to speed on where they are and where the relationships are at, and then getting into the story of the Dark Phoenix, and I thought Sophie Turner did a great job of being this character who's conflicted and has this power coming out of her while kind of slowly turning because she doesn't know who to trust and what to trust she can't even trust herself and i thought she did a great job i thought the whole thing was great i like i said i really enjoyed it well not really enjoyed it again being a little bit over i'm exaggerating how much i liked it because how negative some of the reviews are because i didn't think it was as bad as some of the negative as the reviews said but it wasn't all it's not like i said it's not a great movie but i thought it was like i said pretty good it's like as good as most of the good X-Men films, not as great as Logan, but like I said, a lot better than Apocalypse. So I really enjoyed it. What are some of my other notes with that are non-spoilers? Um, plot, oh, I thought this was, they did a great job of using the X-Men's individual abilities and you actually got to see them. Professor X actually used his abilities in this for the most part. Yes, sometimes they were a little, you know, stifled by the fact that Jean's the Dark Phoenix is even more powerful psychic, but I thought that did a great job of actually showing all these, uh, all the heroes, all the X-Men's abilities and the fact that they are, you know, comfortable in using them now that they've had, they've been, they've been X-Men for 10 years now, you know, in this universe, we haven't seen it because, you know, they started off in Apocalypse and it's been 10 years since that in the universe. Um, so, but I thought they did a great job of incorporating it. it to me, it felt like one of the best uses of the X-Men's abilities, each an individual, like Cyclops with blasts and stuff with his eyes, Storm was doing making storms, what, what more do you want? So I really enjoyed that part of it. But yeah, that's all my general thoughts about the X-Men Dark Phoenix. I will be also doing a spoiler review, which I link up in there and at the end of the video and in the description below. Um, but yeah, so sure to check that out if you want to hear some more of my spoiler thoughts on the movie. But yeah, that's all my thoughts. Be sure to let me know in the comments below if you're planning to see X-Men The Dark Phoenix, if you have, if you enjoyed it or not. I'm always I'm curious to see who else enjoyed it because it seems like the critics definitely did not. So I'm curious if I'm just, this is a Batman v Superman case where I just enjoy it because I enjoy these things. Or if it's a case where, you know, fans and critics are on different pages about this. So I'm really curious to hear what everyone's thoughts about uh, Dark Phoenix is. If you've seen it, try to keep it spoiler free uh, for those who haven't seen it. But yes, thanks again for joining me today. Sure, subscribe to help you out already and have a good one.